Thank you. I'm Mr. Laner, and welcome back to Mr. Laner's Math Extravaganza. Don't adjust your screen there. Yes, I'm still wearing the same shirt and tie, but it's the same day. I don't want you to get the thoughts thinking that Mr. Laner wears the same stuff every single day, or Mr. Laner doesn't, you know, shower or have good hygiene. No, we're still smelling good, and we're still going to work with common multiples and common factors. But we're going to look at it in a different type of form. So again, we're going to show you how you can actually use common multiples and common factors in problems, but you have to figure out when is it appropriate to use the factors or the multiples. So let's not waste any more time. Let's take a look. All right, in this problem up here, it says Mrs. Regan and her 23 students are planning to have hot dogs at their class picnic. Mrs. Regan is so nice. Hot dogs come in packages of, pack, come in packages of 12 and hot dog buns come in packages of 8. She wants everyone to get the same number of hot dogs and buns with no leftovers. What is the least number of packages of hot dogs and hot dog buns she can buy? How many hot dogs and buns will each person get? Whew, there was a lot in that problem. So let's take a look. I know that Mrs. Regan and her 23 students are going to have a picnic. I know that hot dogs come in packages of 12, and I know that buns come in packages of 8. She wants everyone to get the same with no leftovers. And she wants to know what the least number of packages of hot dogs and hot dog buns she can buy and how many each person will get. So there's a lot of information. We're working with these word problems. It's better to break them down step by step. Look at the information that we know and what is the problem asking us to find. So let's start off. One of the things that can be tricky is if you're thinking, well, 23 students, it's kind of an odd number. Well, don't forget, who do you have to add in to? Mrs. Regan. So how many are there really total there? 24 people are really going to be the total number of people that are going to be at this class picnic. So don't forget Mrs. Regan. We don't want to leave her out. She's got to have some lunch too. So we can use common multiples. If I buy one package of hot dogs, it's 12 hot dogs. If I buy a second package, it's going to be 24 hot dogs. If I have eight uh, hot dog buns, I can buy one package for eight two packages for 16, three packages would get me 24. Hey, I have my least common multiple. And guess what? There's 24 people at this picnic. So Mrs. Regan can buy two packages of hot dogs because that's one package, that's two packages, and three packages of hot dog buns. I'll try our new pointer here because eight becomes that first package of hot dog buns. 16 is the second one and 24 is the third package of hot dog buns. Kind of looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I don't know if you can see it too well, but a little laser pointer there. Uh, so, since there are 24 people total, there's not gonna be any leftovers, and each person's going to get one hot dog and one hot dog bun. So, it worked out kind of nicely. We went to the store, we had to get two packages of the hot dogs, three packages of the hot dog buns. Everyone's having a happy time, we're all enjoying ourselves, there's no leftovers, and everybody gets one hot dog and one hot dog. Fun. Easy peasy, right? Not so bad? Don't worry, I got one coming up for you. Mrs. Regan is, you know, she's super nice. So she decides why not invite some other teachers? So she invites yours truly, Mr. Lanner. She in invites Mrs. Humphrey, Miss Bolly, Mr. Strange, Miss Garcella, and Miss Law to the picnic. She still wants the, each person to get the same number of hot dogs and buns with no leftovers. How many packages of each will she need, and how many hot dogs and hot dog buns will each person get? So I kind of threw a little curveball at you. We've added some more people to the class. Your job at home is to try and figure out these questions uh, to this problem. So I know you're ready to go. You got the pencil and paper ready. Go ahead and pause the video. We'll see what you come up with. Okay. Now we were looking at this problem, it's similar to the first one, but now more people are here. So think of like if you ever had a picnic or a barbecue or a party and you had a certain number of people you invited, you might say, ooh, I forgot a couple people and I got to add some. It's kind of the same situation here. You might want to add some extra people, but we still want to make sure things are even. We don't want some people to not have enough um, or people to kind of feel like they're getting special treatment. So when doing this, I'm still going to use common multiples. So I'm listing my multiples of 12 throughout because that's the number of hot dogs I can buy in the package. And I'm listing my number of packages of hot dog buns because I'm going to figure out how many buns I need to go for the hot dogs. So when I list out my common multiples, I find the least common or the LCM, least common multiple, is 120. So Mrs. Regan can buy 10 packages of hot dogs 
and 15 packages of hot dog buns. Well, Mr. Lanner, where did you get the 10 and where did you get the 15? One package, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packages with 12 uh, hot dogs in each one will give me 120. So if I look at hot dog buns, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen 14, 15 packages of hot dog buns would give me 120 buns. So I needed 10 uh, hot dog packages and 15 packages of hot dog buns. Since there are now 30 people total, there is no leftovers, and each person is going to get four hot dogs and four hot dog buns. Well, this is where you're going to probably get used to me hearing and saying, why? How did you know that? Where did you come up with that? Well, here's your proof right here. This is what you always say you do in your head. I'm going to show you right here. Well, I know if I have 120 hot dogs divided by the 30 people that are there, that's going to give you four hot dogs per person. Okay? Hopefully you guys are hungry. Four per person is a lot. Then I can take 120 hot dog buns divided by the 30 people, and there's four hot dog buns per person. So there's no leftovers. Each person is going to get four um, of each. And again, I hope you brought your appetite to this picnic because you get a little bit more uh, than you would have at the first picnic. So again, I'm showing you right here how you can use some common multiples. Uh, you're using it in a real life situation. And who knows, maybe we'll do a sixth grade picnic, figure out our numbers, and kind of use that um, to get ourselves a little hot dog um, barbecue here. Thank you for tuning in to this one. It's Matt, it's Anza. As always, we'll see you next time.